Hello, I'm going to be reading The Domineering Eagle and The Inventive Brackling. O'er a small suburban borough, once an eagle used to fly, making observations through from his station in the sky, and presenting the appearance of an animated bee like the gulls that lend coherence unto paintings of the sea. Looking downward at a church in this attractive little shire, Oh my goodness. Orion! I love you. Not right now. Looking downward at a church in this attractive little shire, he beheld a smallish urchin shooting arrows at the spire. In a spirit of derision, look alive, the eagle said, and with infinite precision dropped a feather on his head. The boy, annoyed distinctly by the freedom of the bird, voiced his anger quite succinctly in a single scathing word, and he sat him on a barrow, and he fashioned of this same eagle's feather such an arrow as was worthy of the name. Then he tried his bow and stringing it with caution and with care, sent that arrow singing winging towards the eagle in the air. Straight it went without an error, and the target bathed in blood, lurched and lunged and fell to terra firma, landing with a thud. Bird of freedom, quoth the urchin, with an unrelenting frown, you shall decorate a perch in the menagerie in town, but of feathers quite a fluster I shall first remove for ma, thanks to you shall have a duster for her precious objet de art. And the moral is that pride is the precursor of a fall, those beneath you to deride is not expedient at all. Howsoever meek and humble your inferiors may be, they perchance may make you tumble. So respect them. Q-E-D. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. That is the story of the domineering eagle and the inventive bratling.